real estate agents. I've got a hack for you to help out more sellers who need to sell, but just don't have the equity to sell. Let me show you an example. Let's say this person purchased their property for $385,000 and six months go by, their home is now worth $400,000 and they just got a job transfer opportunity in Nashville. So they need to sell that home and move the only problem is they owe $375,000 on that home. Now, most people will look at this in the surface and say, well, there's $25,000 of equity to really play with. But in reality, after commissions and after closing costs, this seller is going to actually owe money when selling their house. And I don't know about you, but most sellers do not want to bring money to the table when selling their home. So is there another way? Yes, there is another way, and it revolves around seller financing. Let me show you how it's done. So let me show you how seller financing works, and there's so many different ways to do seller financing and creative financing. Let me just give you the gist of it based on this example. So in this situation, the seller owes the bank around $375,000 over the course of 30 years. Now the seller gets full ownership of that property once this is all paid off. Right now, the seller can't sell because they owe the bank too much money. They don't have enough equity. So what can a seller do? Well, a seller can actually act as the bank in this situation for a buyer. In the same way the seller has to pay a mortgage, the buyer can pay some type of payment plan to the seller. Let's say in this situation, the buyer is now paying the seller the $400,000 the house is worth with a down payment of let's say $20,000 and financing the rest of that $400,000 over the course of 20, 25 years, 30 years to essentially take ownership at a later date. How does this help the seller? Well, the seller gets down payment costs to move to Nashville and have some extra money to buy furniture and all these new things. The buyer gets to take ownership and lock in at an interest rate that they feel comfortable with. And it's a win-win for everybody. Even the bank gets paid from the buyer covering the existing mortgage from the sellers. And that's essentially how you do it. Buyer pays seller, seller pays bank. There's so many different ways when it comes to creative financing and helping sellers and buyers with solutions. Real estate agents, you need to know these tactics. We teach tons of classes at the Figueroa team specializing in things like creative financing. And buyers and sellers, if you feel like you're stuck and don't know where to go, I promise there's a solution for you. We just have to find it. Reach out to us and we'd be happy to help.